We've already made up two of the cannons which were used in the bow when we had to put the, the forward deck on and I didn't really cover it very well so I'm going to take you through um, the assembly of one of these cannons from the very start. I have laid out all the parts so that you can see what's involved. Um, the wheels, the cannon sides, front axle, rear axle, um, and then the trunnion brackets, the trunnion which has to be put into the cannon, and the various um, eyes that also have to be put on the cannon. So we just will go through them one at a time and you'll see how I assemble this very important part of the, of the build. David White's um, book, The Frigate Diana, in the Anatomy of Ship series, has an excellent uh, coverage of how these cannons are laid out. And uh, we're going to use that as a reference throughout the build. A very good friend of mine, Richard Hadid, um, convinced me that anytime you have multiple tasks to do, um, the best way to resolve this is to make up a jig. Um, we have 10 cannons to do, and I struggled to make the first one. I had forgotten <laughs> some of the, um, the struggles I had had in the earlier video. So that's what I've done. So here is the first of the 10, which took me a few hours to do this one. And I have to tell you, it's not perfect. It's the angle is off. So the solution to that is a simple little jig. And this is it here. It's got two grooves in, in the side. And those grooves line up with the front and rear axle and their center lines on them so that all you have to do is to push the front axle on to the jig and line it up put the rear axle onto the jig and line it up like that and then these pieces will just fit right on so here we have it all lined up, um, squared up, and you can see everything. And then it's just a simple matter of leaving it here and putting the C here on it. So out she comes. Um, that's about less than five minutes. And it's perfect. So this is number three. And we just keep going on so you know that I'm not cheating. We are up to four. Originally I referred to ten because there are ten slots, but um, the model actually only has eight guns mounted. Um, so we've done we've done the eight frames, and now we're going to set up a jig that's going to line the cannon up with the gudgeon, and um, so that each one again is exactly the same. So here we have the little jig that we've made up. It's a simple jig. The cannon fits in it and you simply place the trunnion inside the cannon. I'll put this down so you can see what I'm doing. Um, we put a touch of CA on the Again, put it in the jig and just leave it there for a few minutes while it sets and that way each one of these again is going to be identically set up we, <coughs> we need to um, clean up the 
the trunnions. When you cut them in the chop saw, you tend to get a little burr. So again, back to this wonderful tool, Proxon tool, that does such a fantastic job. Um, and most things that require a very gentle touch. The stand is a simple piece of balsa with all the cannons on them with some pins below and we'll simply spray paint them um, and then we flip them over so we can get the front um, leave them to dry for 24 hours and then we can start mounting the cannons here we go I tend to really only put one coat of paint on it as I find when you put too much paint on it um, you start to lose some of the detail on the cannon. So we just leave that there to dry for a little while and be back. We're going to put on the bed bolt which um, goes through the frame. So we push it through a little touch of CA on either side and then just Pull it back through. And, and then just cut it off. And we'll sand that off when we're cleaning up the gun carriage frame. Now we'll put the stool beds on and we had previously cleaned them up so a little touch of CA on the bolt and then a small amount on sorry this is a little bit of PVA um, why it's the same reason we've been using PVA because it gives us a little time to play around with it. It, fish, it finishes flush on the back axle and you just need to make sure it's straight. And there we go. It's um, six millimeters long. So a little glue on the back axle and on the carriage bolt and then using your tweezers put it on, it goes flush against the back axle and you just make sure that it's level and that's it. So we'll get through these pretty quickly. I'm taking off the, um, the back wheels because they tend to go flying. To install the coin um, you need to set a trial to see exactly what direction you want the cannon to face in. So I've done that already and worked out where it should sit so just a short dab of PVA, um, it, it is angled so the steeper part is at the back and you put it in place. We can double check this one just to make sure. Although I have in fact checked it already and that's perfect. So once you've got one, um, I actually think you should put them in, stick them all now, contrary to the instruction, simply because you want to get to all the strings and you don't want to be fighting up um, when the cannon is already installed. It's much too small for me to show you 
but the trunnion back brackets have a bottom which is flat and a top which has a little um, recessed uh, center. Um, I'm assuming that the recessed center fits up and the flat section fits down. We're going to bend the trunnion brackets. We use two pliers. One is um, a, a pliers I got uh, which has two round sides and the other one is a flat nose. So it's really just to bend it back and then holding the other pliers very firm leveling out one side so you get them back and what you should get is a little bend I know it's going to be almost impossible to see a little bend like that perhaps the um, most difficult hole to drill is the pins for the trunnion brackets so to do that I use a pin I use this magnifying glass and I have another one um, to make sure that I, I get the starter hole exactly in the center of this very fine um, bracket and then I have a pin drill which I use to open it up um, just to get the starter hole done a little bit so those holes are exactly where I want it and then finally I'll use um, my drill with a very fine drill bit on it I've got the four holes drilled with, um, with no damage to the cradle. So now we're just going to, we've done all the drilling, um, we're just going to clean it up. So the first thing we do is to put some sanding sealer or polyurethane on it and, um, and sand it down and get it real clean then perhaps put two more coats on and then we'll be ready to install it. There are six eye bolts on the cannon, two on the edge here, two on the side, one in the back and one in the front. So this is what it looks like when they're all settled in. Um, what I haven't shown you is I actually in error used bigger eye bolts not realizing the kit supplied the correct scale size eye bolts and so I had to take them all out and put the correct size ones in and what a difference it made it really is the proper size and, and true to scale